the CBS 13 weather team. The first to alert you about this storm and just how serious it is. They're tracking the conditions across the region tonight as you take a look at some of the lightning we saw earlier. And this is what they're pinpointing. New video shows lightning in Sutter County. You can see the strikes near Red Coral Road from just a couple of hours ago. So let's start with Chief Meteorologist Nick Marianos. He's here with the current conditions where we stand right now, Nick. Yeah, right now everything still seems to be on track. We had the first batch pushing through and that pro produced a significant amount of lightning, though, in the foothills with some pretty heavy rainfall that's been making its way toward the east. We have uh, meteorologist Christine Hen Hansen standing by as well. We're going to be getting to her in just a bit. But what we have now is the second line of some heavy weather to our west, and this is the next batch that will be coming through tonight. The cold front itself is still off toward the west, so uh, parts of the valley behind that first round had a bit of a break in the activity, and now the second line is coming in, and this is going to be the case through the night, just these rounds of heavy rain pushing through. So what we're seeing now, this line will have the next chance of some strong to damaging winds pushing the way across the valley from west to east. So uh, here is a live picture right now of uh, Doppler radar. Sacramento is on the leading edge once again of some heavier rain that is pushing its way toward the west and then down to the southwest uh, we have some strong storms just off the coastline of San Francisco. These may be producing water spouts though as they make the way toward the east. So a lot to keep in mind here as this goes through more rain filling in down to the south and these could certainly produce some high winds and uh, and certainly some more heavy rainfall. So a lot to track as we go into the overnight hours. All right uh, meteorologist Christine Hansen sitting by Christine. It was quite windy earlier with that first band, uh, we've certainly seen some high wind reports. Yeah, we have, and we expected that this storm would produce some very strong winds throughout the evening hours, and it has. Some of our wind gusts have been up to 56 miles per hour for Lincoln, Granite Bay, 54 mile per hour wind gusts, and steady winds between 20 and 30 miles per hour at times. You can see a 52 at Mather and Stockton coming in at 46. Uh, McClellan, or sorry, Beale Air Force Base near Mary. 48 mile per hour wind gusts. All of this from this system. It looks very impressive on satellite images. This is what we've been calling a bomb cyclone and still the main band well offshore continuing to feed up moisture from the subtropics. Our rainfall totals, Nick, have not been impressive so far, but we still have a long way to go before the main storm even moves our direction. In the meantime, the wind will continue to be a factor overnight tonight. Yeah, that's right. We still have quite a ways to go. Uh, because that band off to the west is pushing through. In fact, we had a gust just recently to 60 miles per hour in San Francisco, and that's the next round coming in. So this is through the overnight hours by 1 o'clock. Heavy rain right over the valley and continuing. And notice the foothills is going to become steady and heavy for a while tonight. So that's going to result in that renewed flooding concern that we've been following. And then by tomorrow morning, uh, not as heavy, but there'll be a few rounds of active and wet weather coming through. And each round will do their part in renewing some of the uh, flooding aspects, especially with high water on some roadways. I saw some high water reports out of uh, uh, Yuba County and Yellow County earlier this evening. Tony.